Here's an introduction to video lectures. So what are they? Well, basically, sometimes I can't be there in person to give the lecture in class, but you still need to learn the material. So I record videos of the lecture content, pretty much what I would have given if I had been in class. You can watch them on your own and watch them as many times as you like and even send me questions and you'll do a practice problem like we do in class. This way you still learn the material you need to learn and we don't fall behind in class. So what do I do? I take the normal things that I would have told you about in lecture, the demonstrations, the examples I would have given you, and I record them in videos in small chunks. That way you can watch just a piece at a time if you need to rewatch a piece. I'll walk you through the day's practice problems like we often do in class. And if you send me any questions, I'll reply to those just like if you asked me a question in class. Now remember though that if I'm not there, probably I won't be able to respond to your questions right away, but I should be able to, within a day, respond to any questions that you send to me. You do your normal pre-lecture work just like if we were going to have class. And then you go to Blackboard and you'll watch the virtual lecture videos using the links on Blackboard. That should be watch the virtual lectures, not what the virtual lectures. You'll follow along with the practice problem, so I'll give that worksheet out ahead of time, but if you don't have a copy of it, you can also get that on Blackboard. If anything is confusing in the videos or you're not quite sure what you're doing on the practice problem, send me questions via text or email. Um, just remember again that um, if I'm on travel, I may not be able to reply back right away, but I will reply back to you before we have our next class. So you don't necessarily have to do it during the normal time we would have our lecture scheduled. Any time before our next scheduled lecture is going to be okay. But remember that if you wait too long and you get confused on something, you may not have time to send me a question for me to reply back. So it's good to leave enough time and watch it earlier on that way you're done with it or if you've got questions you know you've got a chance to get a reply back from me. So in terms of the graded work you will do your normal pre-lecture quiz that's due in the morning just like if we were having class and you'll do your worksheet but the worksheet will be turned in at the start of the next class and I'll grade that just as if it had been turned in as an in-class problem. So hopefully this helps explain to you what's going on with these virtual lectures and you'll be able to follow through with this first one that we're going to have.